Actor Jesse Ridgway struggled for years to become a hit on YouTube with bizarre videos like this reenactment of a Breaking Bad scene that never happened. Cooking methamphetamine is about saving lives, making a profit, and even getting some blue crystal to take home to your loved ones. After striking gold with his Psycho series and using his newfound success to manipulate his friends and family into constantly stroking his ego. <laughs> After running out of creative ideas, watching his daily views plummet, and turning his back on longtime friends. And yeah, we both signed a contract. And then when he wanted to take it away, that contract just disappeared. After being honored with the fabulous before their famous video and reacting to it like a butthurt bitch. Well, Jesse's never Yeah, I don't know. This. He's long been rumored Wow, that he's what the fuck? Jersey. That Thanks. Why don't you just leave my whole address, relatively. dude? Now, here on After They Are Famous, they don't always talk about celebrities who have fallen out of the spotlight. I've talked about Eminem, Dr. Dre, and the Cash Me Outside Girl, all of whom are very much on the top of their game. Sadly, the same cannot be said of Jesse Ridgeway. So, do not ever do this. Do not ever try this. Do not attempt to do what I'm doing. Um, After finding moderate success by lying to his audience, Jesse set out to create a successful follow-up to the Psycho series. Sadly, despite numerous absurd attempts to create another popular series, his views began a sharp decline in the spring of 2016. The audience had caught on to his shell game and stopped enabling his production of clickbait videos. While many chalk this up as the reason for his often erratic and aggressive behavior, others point to a brain injury Jesse suffered many years ago. What's going on guys, my name is Michael McCredden, documenting the life and career of Jesse Ridgway after the fame, here for you on After They Are Famous. Thankfully, some of you requested this video. Now as you guys might know, Jesse has begun making a whole bunch of videos on yours truly, Michael McCrudden. And none of those videos were particularly nice. I'm doing this after they are famous on Jesse just to get back at him. I've actually had it planned for a while, and I don't want to let his childish antics bias the way I tell his story. Not everything I have to say about Jesse is going to be nice, but it's all the cold hard facts. And if Big Jugger Nuggets can't take that, well I guess I won't be too surprised. Jesse Ridgway was born on September 29, 1992 in Elmer, New Jersey, and everyone already knew that. He grew up with a video camera in hand and began uploading to YouTube back in December of 2006. After nearly a decade of failures on YouTube, he debuted the Psycho series in 2014, which launched him into internet fame. For more information on the rise of Jesse Ridgway, be sure to check out the Before They Are Famous video I did on McJuggernuggets. Jesse Ridgway is the name of both the creator of the Psycho series and the character he plays in it. The character of Jesse is also sometimes possessed by his evil alter ego from inside a mirror called Isaac, who other characters sometimes still think is Jesse. Are you confused? Me too. This guy is like an onion, the more you peel back the layers, the more it stinks. Now Jesse has since reacted to that video with a bunch of whiny complaints. The only real inaccuracy that existed in it is the childhood picture we used. Rather than posting Jesse's actual childhood pictures, which he keeps private, we decided to use the closest approximation possible and use childhood pictures of Jesse's celebrity lookalike, Brecken Mayer. But since he got super butthurt over that, I guess I'll have to show you guys some actual pictures of Jesse as a kid straight from one of his family albums. There, you happy Jesse? Anyway, just four months prior to the success of Jesse's Psycho videos, McJugger Nuggets attempted to take 21 shots in a single sitting with his longtime friend Korn, who I'll talk about more later in this video. The extraordinarily drunk Jesse does what looks like a prat fall at the end of the video, but insiders have since revealed that both the alcohol and the fall were both very real. Fuck you, man. You look good either. You look like a rat's ass. Come on. Rude. Yeah, I feel fucking great. After that fall, Jesse's crew rushed him to the hospital where he would receive emergency brain surgery just to survive. 
Jesse seemed to recover and get back to normal after a few short months, but the type of surgery he received, the side effects, including aggression, hallucinations, delusions, narcissism, and psychosis, can emerge even years later. His doctors warned him to avoid high stress situations, drugs, and alcohol. Unfortunately, Jesse paid them no mind. How to use your college degree? It's like a train. Sometimes it's funny. Sometimes it's really funny. Like that time it was pretty funny. And then the next thing you know. Jesse managed to build up a strong following on YouTube with this Psycho series beginning in May of 2014. While his fans were often understandably under the impression that his freak out videos were real, they started to catch on after Jesse's attempts to constantly up his antics resulted in less and less believable material. After pushing the boundaries with his Psycho Kids Kills Father video, Jesse had reached the edge of what he could present as real on YouTube. He would soon be fessing up to fans that he was lying all along and would cap off his series with a video called Psycho Kid Flees Country, posted on June 6, 2016. Do not do what I did. <laughs> Don't do what I did! By the time Jesse posted this video, of course his audience was already headed for the door. While his audience had peaked with an impressive 84 million views in January of 2016, his downfall was already becoming pretty clear by summertime. In October of that year, Jesse hit an all-time low with just 23.6 million views that month. While many YouTubers would be happy to see that many views in any given month, for Jesse it was a clear sign that his fame was dwindling and fast. By August of 2017, he would be bringing in less than half a million views per day. At this rate, McJuggernuggets is predicted to receive less than a dozen views per day within just two short years. On March 4, 2017, he revealed to his audience that he had began drinking again. This is to the future. This is for how I'm feeling right now. What started as a single innocent beer would soon be a return to alcoholism and womanizing. I got like 10 girls on hand always. Oh my god. The life of a YouTube oh. star. The life of a YouTube star. You just star. have to stop. <laughs> I hope Julia doesn't watch these videos. She knows. She thinks it's hot. As a result of his many vices, Jesse's content would become increasingly erratic. Here's a since deleted video he posted of himself playing with fecal matter in the shower. A warning, the clip you're about to see is extremely disturbing, so if you don't have the stomach for it, skip ahead, you know, about 10 seconds. Ugh. Jesse, what the f is wrong with you? With his channel tanking, Jesse attempted numerous other high concept series, all of which failed to garner much attention. There's his Devil Inside series, his Christmas series, and his real life vlogs, just to name a few. But few people seem to be watching any of them. Despite spinning off his rigid gaming channel in 2014 at the height of his fame, the channel has failed to garner more than a couple hundred thousand subs. And his third channel called The Psycho Series has an even smaller audience of just 150,000 subscribers. As the descent continued, McJuggernuggets got to work on a new hobby. Numerous other creators who saw Jesse beginning to slip would try to help him recover, including Boogie2988. We'll put it on your channel. You'll blow up. Really? Yeah, dude. Like, seriously. Because I don't need the views. You need the views. Sadly, even with the help of more successful YouTubers, McJuggernuggets continued to fail. Just like his Psycho Series character, the real Jesse Ridgway was falling apart and breaking bad. I am not in danger, Jesse. I am the danger. Jesse took out his anger on those around him. I already showed you the footage of him yelling at his own family in the Before Their Famous video I did, but he would lash out at numerous others as well. After years of working under abusive conditions, Jesse's longtime collaborator Korn quit working for the McJuggernuggets channel and uploaded a disturbing two part tell all video series on his own channel, Man Named Korn, called Why I Quit. In those videos, Jesse's former friends detail how he was tricked into signing a vague contract with Jesse, forced to do humiliating work without a day off or regular hours, and denied health care benefits. Even as Jesse was raking in millions of dollars, on top of that, Jesse started to turn mean against just about everyone around him. Four candles, because you're like 400 Almost pounds. <laughs> Yo, happy oh, birthday. It got to be 
be so bad that he would even get into a physical altercation with kid behind camera Michael Green. Now I've actually collaborated with that guy in the past and he couldn't be a nicer guy. The fact that Jesse would actually fight the much beloved pickle boy is shocking to say the least. <laughs> Sadly, Jesse no longer had any friends. Now, at the end of his rope, he had the opportunity to receive a bit of positive attention again when I invited him to collaborate on a Before Their Famous video. While he ignored my request the first time around, as my video on Jesse began to garner some attention, Jesse attempted to leech off the popularity of this show with an over the top reaction video of our content. Let's take a quick look at his reaction to our Before Their Famous video, which he dramatically titled, He Destroyed My Career. With dreams of one day becoming a filmmaker, Jesse's first foray in motion pictures would be kind of cringy home videos. Okay, I'm just kidding guys, but his actual reaction, it wasn't that different. Make sure Michael McCrudden sees this fucking video and make sure if there's been anybody who's ever been pissed off that this guy is making bullshit claims and false facts about you and it's actually destroying your reputation, your integrity online, share this fucking video because I will make sure Michael McCrudden goes down some way, shape, or form because I don't appreciate this kind of content that literally feeds and leeches off of other people's shit. You see that guys, McJuggernaut gets to saying that I'm leeching off other people's shit in a reaction video to a video I made. Great point Jesse, you're super smart. You'd think he'd leave it at that, but desperate for views, Jesse once again went after me with another video in which he quote unquote exposes me. Let's take a look at that video. For trying to destroy numerous YouTubers careers such as Sniper Wolf, Pewds, and McJuggernuggets. This is also before I kick his ass. Before you kick my ass. I'd like to see that, Jesse. Just in case you guys don't know, I'm 6'3", and Jesse is about five foot nothing. I don't believe in violence, but if he and I were to fight, I think the outcome would be pretty easy to predict. Him kicking my ass is about as likely as his YouTube channel picking up again. I mean, just look at how mean-spirited this guy gets in this video. Growing up, Michael's father was a little boy's soccer coach and his mother was an alien conspiracist and Scientologist. She once claimed she was abducted and probed by aliens. I'm not talking about Uranus, I'm talking about hers. See, he's going after my own mother. That's really uncalled for, dude. I think it's obvious this guy owes me an apology, but I don't expect it. With his career floundering, his substance abuse issues growing, and his neurological disorder taking over his life, I just feel sorry for him. Even though he was never a particularly talented YouTube star, he still was a once major content creator on the platform. And it's sad to see an old school YouTuber fall from grace. There was a time when he was putting out popular content and now he's pretty much just doing this. As for the rest of the story, well, we'll have to wait and see because this is After They're Famous. My name's Michael McCredden and I really hope that Jesse could get the help he needs, clearly needs, if you agree, tweet your well wishes to him with the hashtag GetWellSoon. Also be sure to check out the totally accurate Before They're Famous video I made on him, McJuggernuggets Before They're Famous. See you guys in another video.